Hello everyone, it is a free to back again with another one deck review. This is the Royal Pop Point Guards from from our Gambler's Warehouse, pointguards.net. Um, I don't really have much I can tell you about it in the background. It's not really inspired by anything that I know of. It's not really, it doesn't really have a theme like steampunk or anything like that or robots. It's just kind of a, a nice nifty deck they put together and I like it. Um, there is also a glossy embossed set which I haven't gotten yet but I will review it once I get it and I'll be um, uploaded at the same time as this one. Or at least made live at the same time as this one because I always have my videos weeks and weeks in advance uh, uploaded and just unlisted. But anyways, the other ones have the the looks, uh, the glossy embossing on the cards and the tuck case, just like the MPC impressions decks, and they're printed by MPC. These are printed by USBC. The French says World of Pulp. And you see some nice ornamental details. This one's got kind of blue, some orangey colors. This one's more yellow. Um, the sides, more of those nice ornamental details. And it doesn't say anything. See at the top. And the bottom, playingcards.net by Gambler's Warehouse with their logo. And it says made by USPC. Um, doesn't say what the artist is. Funny enough, it says 2014 copyright, even though these are funded and produced in 2015. Whoops, small little mistake. And in the back, you see the back design. Now, these are not known as the blue deck and the green deck, or the red deck and the yellow deck. These are basically known as Edison 1 and Edison 2. And I don't know which one is which, so whatever. Um, you see the back designs. Unfortunately, the borders are not that thin. Would have been nice, but the USB-C, so you can forget about that. Um, and then there's no seals. Now, this one has... This little detail on the flap. This one, for some reason, unknown. Another blue blue. <laughs> um, has a bicycle trademark thing, despite the fact that it is not bicycle branded. And I don't believe it was ever planned to be bicycle branded. So, somebody's uh, asleep at the wheel with this one. I mean, they got 2014 copyrights on the bottom. Bicycle trademark, despite the fact that it's not a bicycle deck. Bicycle branded, that is. And it just it seems kind of weird. Now these flaps, they also got these little details again. Let's thing with that one. You can see the inside is beautifully detailed with, well, ornamental details, patterns, whatever those are. Again, this deck doesn't really have a theme, so I don't know, you know, outside of that being a nice fancy pattern, it's, it's not, you know, representative of anything. So let's get to the cards. <clears throat> you see the quick cards are different, they're kind of a little bit goofy looking. Um, you do get a gaff card that's half Queen of Hearts, half King of Hearts as you can see. The King of Hearts commits suicide and somehow puts the blade through his head and through his heart. <laughs> and you see it's dripping blood. Custom indexes as well as you can see. Um, and then you get a double back card. See I told you the borders are not that thin. And I mean, it's nice. It's a nice pattern, nice artwork, kind of vibrant and everything. Um, actually, the artwork, when you look at this Joker, it reminds me a little bit of the uh, Tragic Royalty deck. <laughs> uh, here we go. Joker says Joker in the corners. You got a weird looking character there in a Joker outfit. And in this one, this Joker in the orangey reddish color. I guess it's orange and. <laughs> Yeah, that definitely looks like it's a, more orange than the pips. It's all an orangey color. And uh, outside of that, it's basically the same. Just the colors are a bit different, as usual. The Ace of Spades, nice. Vibrant, kind of full. Lots of details. I like it. And the other Aces also have nice details and custom pips that you'll see throughout the suits. As you can see, the cards also do not have white faces. It's a, a dirty face. It looks like a, you know, ceramic tile almost um, let's get on with the court cards you'll see very nice lots of color fun 
Uh, they kind of like the non-Halloween version of Tragic Royalty almost. The faces anyways. And they got blue hair. Still favorite. But I like them. They're really cool. Fun. And then number cards. Again, custom pips. Oh, there's more court cards. <laughs> I don't know why that number card is mixed up in there, but whatever. So there you go, number cards. Custom pips, like we talked about. Orientations are a bit different than the how the pips are lined up. Everything. But it's fun, I like it. Um, <clears throat> that's that. Quick look at the other one. Uh, you can see you got the same gaff card. The back is obviously a different color. And you get the double backer as well. And everything else, as far as the faces are concerned, is the same. The jokers you will see, a, a bit of a different color, same with the court cards. And probably the same with the Ace of Spades. Yeah. But very nice. Um, bicycle stock, Eric Christian Fess. Uh, as far as the artwork is concerned, I like it. Uh, it's not, you know, Zachary Robinson court cards or something like that, but oh, very nice. Um, I'll say four and a quarter out of five. I like the artwork, a fan of it. Um, as far as it being usable for playing cards and magic, so why not? I mean, the pips are custom and everything. Court cards are custom, but you can still identify them, not too bad. Uh, so I'll say four out of five for how usable it is for playing cards or doing magic or floor scene. As for handling wise, seems to handle pretty good. I'll say four out of five. Overall, you know, I'll give this deck a good solid four out of five. I like it. It's pretty good, both of the decks. Stay tuned for the review on the Royal Pulp uh, embossed versions. It should be pretty cool. That is what I got for this one though. Don't forget to check out collectiblepointcards.com. Use the code BJOSA for it and you get 10% off your order. I'm not sure if these are available there. I haven't seen them. But they might be there eventually. Um, that's what I got. Anyway, don't forget to comment, like, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's very easy to do. Click buttons. Everyone does it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.